Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished reviewing that set over there and now we're talking about the set right here. Ultra Stealth Raider. I did a review on this back in 2016, like during my birthday, but back then I don't really have much to say about it. And you know, my vocab was very bad and then my voice was very young. So now the older me gets to review this. And then uh, some surprise at the end we'll talk about. If So, so watch till the end, don't skip anything and we'll talk right into it. So I'll only review this vehicle over here. The dinosaur is broken off. I still have the Sensei Yang and the um, other car drive figure and Sen and uh, Chen. So I'm not gonna show those, I'm just gonna show this. So of course you're gonna take, this up, take these apart. I actually really like this more than the Ultrasonic Raider. So you lift this off, this is Zane's, you know, aircraft. And then under it, it's a jail cell to store like a villain. Uh, maybe I'll use the villain that I just used over here earlier. Like store it in here. Not properly centered, but something like that. And then, I don't know if you guys saw my feature yet, or not, but if you push on your side here, it opens and then just fly away with this and then um next these motor bikes can come off both sides and then let's not talk about this part yet let's review the, these two over here first they're identical uh just different colors like there's like red over here blue over here blue over here red over here red uh orange spring little shooters Blue spring with shooters over here, and then like there's blue like uh Chi and Kai over here with their symbols. So same thing, you can actually like angle these up. I don't know what this does, but I I, I tried doing that many times when I was young. And then uh oops, I knocked J off. I actually really miss those old faces because like these ones actually look cool. So I like, can just roll it like that. I like I like the tread, I like the sound of the treads, and then like um the main goal of these the purpose is to shoot them shoot those uh spring loaded shooters out. And then like Okay, I don't have the extra ones here because they should be having like extra ones attached over here normally. So yeah, let me grab a different villain because that one was just cute on falling off, which is not good. Let's have, let's have this one. Stuff like that. So that goes for both sides. I'm just gonna shoot it one time, so I'm not gonna like, you know, like demonstrate it on both sides, cause same thing, and also to save time, right? I really, I really do like this, these wheels, like the blades. I don't know if they still do this nowadays or not, or if they're gonna do that. I like these like blades at the front, uh, or like sharp, you know, elements, materials, whatever you call that. So here. You can actually like have like the extra like studs over here because like these rotating studs so maybe need another demonstration so what's the cons is like the sides always hit this part which makes it useless so let me try to like make some demonstration over here okay it's just too strong it's just keep on standing so you, you know you know how this works and then we have cold symbol over here also forgot to show zing symbol over here and then uh we have the ninjas you know like elemental you know symbols over here like a you know octopus um i think kai's is like a lion right and then like yeah those stuff and then uh the main feature that I really enjoy and then like the most favorite part of the set was to transform this particular portion of the part of the build into its own bike. Uh let me just like put the last stud on first so I can continue doing my stuff. Okay, so like this. Scroll it around. It's pretty cool. Right? You can pick it up the sides, like put it left and right, like, you know, it's very fun. You can fit two figures in here. 
and you can fit two figures in here. So, uh, I actually bought this set because I thought this set was cool back then and it's very new. But my, actually, my other option was to get the Temple of Air Jitsu. But when I was younger, I was like, vehicles are more cooler and they're new and I like the suit and then like stuff like that. So I did not get the Temple of Air Jitsu. So that was like a big, big disappointment. And I regret so much. That's like what I was going to talk about. And then like two days ago, I actually got the Temple of Air Jitsu. Not Lego brand, but it may be not Lego brand, but online and reviews I saw it's like it looks identical like identical like it, it might be like I don't know like a Lepin set or like any any other knockoff set but it people say like the quality is quite good so then like I decided to get it so it's not too bad it's gonna ship to Canada soon so maybe next month I'll make a review on that stay tuned for that if you guys want to watch that and then um I hope you guys don't mind that I actually do collect like some old sets that are not cough cuts like I mean like so far it's only the Temple of Air Jitsu cause it's a dream set and then like I look on Bricklink it's extremely expensive and then like I got on on a website from China it's only like $67 Canadian like if you like convert it from Chinese money so not too bad I hope Everything is good. Like the quality is good. The um, like it like the piece, like the bricks are stuck on the studs hard enough. Cause like back when I was like little, when I got like those knockoff sets, they're either loose or lost play features. But um, the knockoff set I got has um the light bricks on it. Everything is in it, which is good. Same amount of pieces look exactly the same. I saw reviews, I saw pictures that people who bought it posted. And then like, yeah, comment down if you guys are excited for that set. And comment down if you guys want me to review more old Ninjago sets. Bye. Something like.